Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about disabling clipboard sync on Windows 10. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it in three ways. So let's get started. So, first things first, on my desktop, I'm going to right click on my start menu, go to run, type in WinVER, hit OK. And I'm doing everything within a Windows 10 build 19555. This is actually my Windows Insider Preview machine, but I believe you could do it with other builds with no problem. First thing I'm going to need to do is click on Start and click on Settings. And Settings is going to open up. We need to click on System. And within System, you're going to see an option that says Clipboard. So click on Clipboard and then bam, right there. <laughs> Uh, you have sync across devices by default it is turned on you are able to just slide it to your left and it will turn it off and then you're good to go now the next step is basically right clicking on the start menu click on run and within the run command you are going to type in reg edit and click ok you're going to get the user account control so click on yes and it's going to load up the registry editor now one of the cool things about the registry editor is that you could actually type in the path that you want so the path that we need to get into is h key local machine software policy microsoft windows and system and then hit enter once you hit enter it's going to go straight inside the system folder because that's where we need to create our key now on the system node, we are going to right click on it and go to new and we need to create a new D word 32 bit value. And the name for this value is the following allow cross device clipboard. Now the A, the C and the D and the C are all caps. And when you double click on it, make sure that the value is set to zero. The value zero basically means that it is disabled. If you want to enable it, just make sure you change the zero to a one. Now the final method is basically a group policy. So we're gonna right click on our start menu, go to run, and within our run command, we are going to type in gpedit.msc and click OK. It's gonna open up the local group policy editor but you are able to do this within a, uh, you know, push it out as a group policy to all your machines within your environment. From here, we need to get inside the computer configuration node and within there, go inside your admin templates and we need to get inside system node. So expand your system node and the option that we need to locate is your OS policies. Now, when you click on OS policies, you're going to see what you want. Allow clipboard synchronization across devices. Double click on that. By default, it's not turned on or not configured. Uh, just click on disabled, apply it, okay, and that's it. Now, once you enable this group policy, your users are going to notice this. It's going to be disabled, right? It's gonna be grayed out. You're going to get a notification stating that some of these settings are hidden or managed by your organization is because you're pushing out a GPO to the machine. And that's the reason why it's like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. Also share out the video and subscribe. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.